this unboxing is the picture book, I Am American, The Wong Kim Ark Story, written by Martha Brockenborough with Grace Lynn, illustrated by Julia Cowell. Cool? Cow? Sorry, that's it. And so this was another um, Supreme Court case. Um, and this was the case that decided um, that if you were born in the United States, then you are a citizen. Because before that, um, Asian Americans or Asians could be denied citizenship. Um, based on being, you know, Asian. And so that, that rule did not happen through, you know, um, through laws, it was challenged um, and then made precedent. Um, and so Wong Kim Ark is the person, and for, uh, the reason why if you're born in the United States, you are automatically a citizen. So this is his story. He was born in San Francisco. Um, and this was, like, what year is this? Is this 1800s? I'm not sure. Um, so born in San Francisco. Um, Chinatown, I imagine. Yeah, this was, yeah, pretty long ago. They're still wearing the traditional Chinese clothes. Um... And here, you know, stores are being uh, vandalized because of racism. Uh, when hard times hit, um, many people blame the Chinese. So his mom and dad decided to leave America because it was just too hard to live here. Um, laws were passed, like the Chinese Exclusion Act, where workers could no longer come to the U.S. Um, the law meant his parents could never become U.S. citizens. It meant Chinese people couldn't have certain jobs, which was really like certain jobs, is like most jobs, you know. <laughs> they were limited to very, very few jobs, and they couldn't live where they wanted. That was also like law. That was law. Th these were laws, you know, uh, in states and also, uh, you know, I don't know if they were federal laws. I think they were in states. States made these laws, like California made these laws, and all different states. So he decided to stay. Um, here he is working in a restaurant. Restaurants were the, one of the few places um, Asian American, Chinese Americans, or Chinese immigrants could uh, get employment. It was basically lawn, like doing a, like laundry service, um, maybe farming. And you know, they worked the railroads, restaurants, which was mostly also, you know, um, in China, you know, in Chinatown for their own people. Um, so, he, oh, what happened? He, when he returned to San Francisco, um, he was imprisoned because they, you know, they didn't think he had the right to, um, come to the United States? Is that what it was? But he won his lawsuit and was freed from the ship. And this case was like, what made him American? Why couldn't he be a citizen? Um, I don't know who, like who his attorney was, like who, who helped him with his law case, um, with his legal battle. The Supreme Justices um, took more than a year to decide. Um, but he won. This victory changed a nation. And that's why today, here he is too. I, I feel like this is the only picture of him because that's the one they show with that, you know, sort of like the chapter or the middle grade book when they have like the diary of people. Because um, I think there's a diary of his story that's like a fictionalized diary. Um, And more end notes. Henry Foote argued against him. Yeah, who? Oh, so George D. Collins, a San Francisco lawyer, 
was the one who defended him. Oh, wait, no. He also... No, he was bad. He, he also argued to prevent him. And then who actually... Oh, so that's who argued against him and then who argued for him was Thomas Reardon. Um, Maxwell Avarts, a former U.S. Assistant Attorney General. J. Hubley Ashton. And then the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Association also supported him. And here we have a timeline of everything that happened. Yeah, and right now you're seeing a... A sort of a um, a change in education. Um, I know the state of Illinois, the state of California, and I think New Jersey is also pushing for more Asian American history to be um, taught in the school system. Um, it sort of came out of um, all the um, anti-Asian racism and violence. Um, but again, just like Black History Month, Asian American history is American history. This is part of U.S. history. Um, and it should be part of the curriculum. So anyway, thank you to the publisher, Little Brown, for sending me this book, and thank you for watching.